Create steps. The stair tool is new to Vectorworks Landmark. Previously, it was only available to Vectorworks Architect or Vectorworks Designer users. It's a powerful and flexible tool with many built-in configurations, all of which can be customised to suit different scenarios. In this exercise, you'll learn how to create a simple, straight flight of stairs. Create a straight run of steps. From the Building Shell tool set, choose the Stair tool. On the toolbar, click on Insert mode and then Stair tool Preferences. Click the General tab. On the right of the dialog, notice that the class for this stair is Vert Trans Main. This class is automatically assigned because we have auto classing switched on in this file. Click Select Stair Configuration. The Select a Stair Configuration dialog box opens. Change the following. Click Straight, Single Flight or Run. Under Transfer Settings from Current Stair at the bottom of the dialog, uncheck Everything. This will ensure that this will be a completely fresh stair that we will be able to define from scratch. Click OK. On the General tab, set the following. Use Maximum and Minimum values, uncheck. Set the height to 650 millimeters and then click the lock icon. Tread depth 500 millimeters and click the lock icon. Riser height 130 millimeters and click the lock icon. Stair width 2000 millimeters. These values set the basic geometry for the stair. In this example, we're setting the desired geometry very precisely. Note, however, that you can use the Use Minimum and Maximum Values dialog to apply constraints to the stair, such as building regulations for your geography. This will enable Vectorworks to calculate the appropriate size of different parts of the stair as required. Click the Geometry tab. Most of the desired geometry for our stair is already set. However, we'll enable the top tread to be drawn and set its size. Note that you may not always want a top tread, as the top tread will be the surface onto which the stairs lead. Draw top tread, check. Set the size of the top tread to 500 millimeters. Click the Construction tab and make the following choices. Construction Configuration – Solid Stair Solid Structure Thickness – 250 mm Tread Thickness – 35 mm Riser Thickness – 100 mm Nosing or Riser Offset 30 millimeters. Click the Railings tab. Here you can configure a variety of railing and panel styles. For this stair, however, we'll not need railings as the stair will be enclosed by walls. Check both sides to ensure your choices apply to both sides of the stair. Click Handrail on the left and then uncheck Show Handrail. Click Guardrail and uncheck Show Guardrail. Click the Graphic Attributes tab. Here you can set the display preferences for both the 2D and 3D parts of the stair. In this case, I've predefined classes that contain the 2D fill, the same as the hardscape, and the Renderworks textures that represent the 3D parts. Double-click each of the following parts and then set the appropriate class. 2D Treads Class Stair Class Fill 
class style. Click OK. Treads. Class. Vert. Trans. Treads. Fill. Class style. Texture. Class style. Click OK. Risers. Class. Vert. Trans. Risers. Fill. Class style. Texture. Class style. Click OK. You've now set the preferences for the stair. The general tab will display a preview of the stair if you wish to take a look at it. Click OK to close the stair preferences dialog. The cursor has a set of steps attached to it with the insertion point positioned at the centre of the bottom of the steps. Click on the drawing to the right of the paving and click again to rotate the steps in a horizontal orientation so that they lead to the terrace. Press X to shortcut to the selection tool. Choose Modify, Send, Send to Back to place the stairs below the wall coping on the plan. On the view bar, click the Classes button. Highlight the Vert Trans Main class and click Edit. Review the settings for this class. This class determines the 2D view for the stair. Click Cancel. Now highlight the class Vert Trans Treads and click Edit. Review the settings for this class. This is the class that determines the RenderWorks texture that will be applied to the 3D treads. Click Cancel. On the View menu, on the View bar, select Left Isometric. The objects you've drawn on this layer all have 3D counterparts and you can now view them in an OpenGL rendered view.